Namaste. In this video, we will learn about the heat conduction equation in Cartesian coordinates. Consider a small cube in a three-dimensional coordinate system. The sides of the cube are dx, dy and dz are taken parallel to the x, y and z axis respectively. Let assume the material is non-isotropic and there will be change in thermal conductivity as heat flow through control volume. General heat conduction equation can be set up by applying heat Fourier equation in each Cartesian direction and then applying energy conservation. Let's say heat influx Qx along the x direction in the time interval d tau that is minus kx a is the area del t by del x that is the uh, temperature change along the x axis by d tau that, that is basically the time interval here k is the thermal conductivity along the x axis and dy dz is the area now at the same time interval heat flow out of the control volume in x direction that will be q x plus dx this is called heat efflux we are interested in heat accumulation in x direction that will be heat influx minus or efflux as you can see on your screen this is the heat accumulation in x direction. In similar manner, you can find heat accumulation in y and z direction. Now, by using energy conservation, we will get total heat accumulation that heat accumulation in x, y and z direction plus qg that is the internal heat generation per unit volume for the same time interval. This kind of case arise when internal heat is generated on a certain material or you know products uh, when external heat is applied. For example, radioactive materials, reactors, etc. And this equation is equal to the rho that is density dx dy dz that is basically the volume of the material and c that is the specific heat constant of the material this is called time rate of change of heat capacity of the control volume if we divide both side by dx dy and dz and d tau as well we will get this equation now let assume the material is homogeneous and isotropic so we can assume that thermal conductivity is same in all direction so we can say that kx equal to ky equal to kz is equal to k okay and by dividing both sides with k we will get this equation. Here alpha is called thermal diffusivity and alpha is k divided by rho c. Now let's see some particular case of this equation. Let's say that there is no dependence on time. Okay, So it basically means that heat flow in conduction is steady. So I can say hey my uh, del tau basically term is zero so the equation that I am getting this is called po uh, Poisson's equations now let's say second case let's say there is no heat internal generation as well so when there is no heat or internal generation and steady state heat conduction is happening the equation that we are getting this is called Laplace equation and there is a third case in this case there is no heat generation but unsteady heat flow is there. It basically means 
that our heat is basically depend on time. So in that case, the equation that we are getting, this is called Fourier equations. Okay, these equations uh, are getting these name because you know they look like these equations. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubt and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Make sure to like, subscribe and share this video to motivate us. You can also support or buy me a coffee for this channel as it helps to create more and better contents. Thanks for watching and have a great day.